This is Twit. Uh, our, our VR is, uh, is any of you still uh, using VR at any way, shape or form, like for fun, for recreation? Uh, yeah. I bust it out every once in a while when someone hasn't ever seen VR. And it's kind of it lost its luster, right? Yep. Yeah. Um, we, you know, we have a Oculus Rift, the original, and we had a HTC Vive. And I, I, I when I first used it, it was very cool, right? Really neat. And it kind of made me look queasy, and I just kind of lost interest in wanting to wear this sweaty old helmet and run into walls and stuff. The kid, 19-year-old Michael, his friends would come over. You know, for a while, they would do a lot of Beat Saber and stuff, and then they kind of lost interest. It feels like some of the steam has gone out of the VR revolution. That's not, by the way, sales have not gone down. What? Because parents are still buying it for their kids because they think it's cool. <laughs> <laughs> parents <laughs> like it. Yeah. And what, no, I mean, parents buy stuff for kids because they saw it on TV or they yeah. saw it in their favorite TV show or something like that. And so they think it's the thing. And the kid gets it and the kid's like, yay, this is cool. And it ends up like all of us that bought Osmo Pockets. Yes. Fantastic camera for <laughs> yes. five minutes. Yep. It was dope tech. It was so yep. cool. It, it triggered that nerd thing in you that I need that right now. I swear to you, I used it four times, and it's in the bottom it's of my so backpack. It's so funny. I gave it to I O-Doctor. I still take it. I, I, I gave take mine to O-Doctor. <laughs> same thing. I got an Insta360. I got a Theta. I keep buying these 360-degree cameras. I, you used it more than four times. I, I remember there were there were a few videos. Maybe five times. I Okay, <laughs> I brought my Theta, my Ricoh Theta, which was a pretty good 360 to the Galapagos because I thought, well, this, I want to always have this in, in Machu Picchu. And I haven't looked at those videos. And I didn't break it out again yeah. after that. Uh, I did a review of the Mach-E and, uh, and we were using the Insta360. We were using Anthony's personal one. I said, no, no, we should own one. So I bought it. It hasn't been used since. It's just there's things that... I, and partly because really to use that, you have to, the best results put on the helmet so you can look mm -hmm. around in the Galapagos, right? The, the only time I, I have use four 360 VRs, degree cameras. Do you? And do you that use are them? sitting in a box? Sitting in a box. Mm -hmm. yep. the, the, the only only time I use VR is when I go, go into an automaker's design studio and they want to show me something yeah. cool that they're working on. Yeah, I remember you when know? we went to Ford many years yeah. ago, five six years ago. Uh, we went to the studio and there and that this was early days. They were using it, um, but and yet I think there's still the impression this is the next big thing. Apple. Uh, mm. has been saying AR, AR, AR for a long time. Um, Ming-Chi Kuo, who is, of course, the supply chain analyst who has the best connections in Asia, um, has put out a research note saying Apple's going to release its first... Now, he says AR. I'm going to say mixed reality headset fourth quarter of next year, so a year from now. He knows a lot about it. He says it'll have two processors, the same level of computing power as their M1, and then one lower-end chip to handle input from sensors. The headset... So this is the interesting thing. This first one from Apple is like a VR helmet. It's not glass. It's not spectacles. You don't see through it, but it has six to eight, he says, optical modules, in other words, cameras, that will simultaneously provide continuous video see-through AR services. So you'll be able to walk around basically watching TV of your life <laughs> you won't you won't see the real world you'll see it through these lenses uh it has f this the, he said the headset would have two 4k he said i don't know if i can believe this micro oled displays from sony now that would be very very much state-of-the-art next year would also uh at least based on the cost of micro led now be a fairly expensive thing although they're small um is this apple throwing spaghetti against the wall to see what sticks they seem to think uh, yes and no yes and no okay you think about one thing that apple has always been very good at and it's things for accessibility okay so as you become low vision imagine instead of thicker thicker glasses you could wear something like this that would help you with your ah. vision you still got see-through reality right but you have some heads-up display to steal uh, sam's industry mixed in with your reality think of what we see in an apache or what we see in you know some of the abrams tanks and things like that where you're wearing 
in uh, in Oculus, no no pun intended, <laughs> but to to give you some assistance, right? You're adding information, not just taking over your reality. So I can see something like that coming into play, and this going to start big and eventually get watered down back into the glasses that everybody's been wanting. But when we were all being glass holes back, you know, a few years back, that was the thought. And you know, Apple likes to take the thought and turn it into function. And fix I mean, it later, look, so if you could make these it. things look like spectacles, even if they're Clark Kent, big, thick, black spectacles, that would be good. I don't think we have the technology. I think that's the only no, thing. No, not yet. So back. I think you're that's going to start out with a headset or an MR headset. I love your new. T I hope you get the. Pat, I'll write that down. Mix reality. Oh, I think it's a com <laughs> it's commonly used actually. Right. Yeah. So being able to take something like that and then slowly work it down to where we can get to, you know, be spectacled use, that would be dope. But That's I do believe rumor. that That's starting rumor. out, starting out with something that will work from an accessibility standpoint or even maybe some research type standpoint, uh, those would be fantastic. The you rumor know. was that they were going to do these kind of mixed reality, v, basically a VR headset with pass-through next year. And then the year after, which seems a very aggressive timeline, they would have these spectacle-like devices that are glass with a heads-up display. That I don't think we're even Unless close it's to true that. AR, I don't want it. Uh, I, I agree. I don't care how high resolution your screens are. I don't want to watch if my you're life cutting on off TV. my peripheral vision. Yeah, yeah. It just it's a screen. Well, it's a screen. I don't want a screen actually, three inches from my face. It could have better. So what if peripheral it can enhance vision? your peripheral vision? Yeah, yeah it could because be better. Those sensors are going to maybe help you spread it out a little bit. Also, it would be really cool to, as a low vis person, right? I, uh, Siri, can you read that sign over there for me? And it knows which one you're looking at because it's you know looking at your. Well, office. there's all. I mean, I can think of a lot of use cases. Yeah, I'm in Russia. I can't read Cyrillic. But by VR glasses, everything's in English because it's translating yeah. like Google yeah. Lens as we go. Those There's lots of credible uses for it. I just don't know. It, do you want to? Mm. The other thing, yeah. and, and there's really a, a societal problem with anything with cameras on it. Uh, look how people got beat up for wearing Google Glass. I mean, I don't think that that's... <laughs> That's going to go away. If I'm walking around with something that is obviously recording that the, you. That was the um, the comic books, the back of the comic books when we were the kids. The x-ray specs. The stupid x-ray yeah. specs. <laughs> I bought them, by the way. I bought them. How'd didn't, that work out for you, Leo? Didn't work. You can't see through dresses. I tried. Did, did, did you also get the sea monkeys, Leo? You I did. I had to get the sea monkeys. I love that I did stuff. get the sea monkeys. I got the sea monkeys. I'm trying to remember this x-ray specs. They, they just distorted stuff. It's like you were squinting. But and so you might imagine that you were seeing somebody naked. <laughs> the other one that I got from the back of the comic books back then was the garlic gum. Which oh is the God! Best. Oh when yes, someone, yes. And what happened was everybody knew what it was after a while. So we would take the Wrigley's packet, remake it all nice so it's nice and perfect, mm -hmm. and it would either be the garlic gum or the one with the mousetrap thing that would yeah. snap Choop. your finger. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I backfired you were a because bad I, kid. I, you were bad, man. Oh, absolutely. Abs <laughs> anything I was the self-addressed stamped envelope king of my neighborhood. <laughs> if you read somewhere, send us, you know, six box top in the self-addressed stamped oh, envelope man, and those. you get the super golden Chris uh LP to play that stupid yep. song. Yep, that was me. Kellogg was still owes me uh, Mr. I, Potato I got, Head. I sent in twenty <laughs> Kellogg's box tops, never got my Mr. Potato Head. <laughs> <laughs> I got the gum that turned your mouth blue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. yeah. Yeah, gift. I only had to send three ninety nine to <laughs> Walla Walla, Washington, and there you go. In a self addressed stamped envelope, I'm good to go. <laughs> So what is it about it? Walla Walla Washington that makes it so popular for those kinds of businesses? I miss I miss hearing the name Walla Walla Washington. You used to hear so that, all that the time. in Pueblo, Colorado. Pueblo, the Colorado. And who You're knows? The free who knows the Chicago zip code for the Spiegel catalog? I bet everybody does. That's maybe that's just my age, but that's built. Oh, <laughs> I remember the Spiegel catalog. Right? Spiegel and Montgomery Ward catalog. Mm -hmm. Oh my God! Chicago, Illinois. Actually, maybe it isn't. It was. Oh. Six oh six oh nine. Six six oh yeah, it was it had two sixes. Six oh six oh nine. Oh my goodness. By the way, I just wanna uh this is the VR I want. This is the view I want. This is Father Robert's view oh. at, at, at the Vatican <laughs> with his A Tim Mini. What are you switching the the Pope's stream? Yeah, I'm here? switching. I'm wow. switching I got a little uh little PTZ camera and then a wide camera for the, the wide shot. 
Uh, yeah, that's just an ATM Mini Pro, and it was doing all the streaming for me. See, that's kind of a nice little setup. But a pretty place to be, too. Look how pretty that is. It's a nice place to do live events. What, although what they, chapel is this? What is this? This is uh, Saint Ignatius, San Ignacio. And you're because you're a you're a Jesuit, so this is your home church, I think, right? Right. Well, one of them. Yeah. One of them. Uh, yeah. So you know, I I needed a, a setup that was light because everything was it was raining. It had to be able to be uh, put into one pelican case. Uh, they're getting used to me. They all the churches at first wanted me to use their wireless, and I'm like, we're not. No, we're not broadcasting over wireless. <laughs> oh. So now <laughs> they finally know. Ethernet in know. all the churches now. Ethernet. We're doing Ethernet in every church. Oh, here he Fiber comes again. There's a guy with an Ethernet. Oh boy. <laughs> exactly. Oh boy. We got to roll the Ethernet. <laughs> so, see this. If so, I think that's one use for AR, VR, mixed reality. Is I could be somewhere else. Correct. That would be cool. I don't want to wear it walking down the street in Petaluma. I know I'd get beat up. I know I would. Yeah. They'd sneak up it's behind It's a presentation me. device. It's yeah. not, it's not, Meta wants it to be a productivity device. It's not a productivity device. It's entertainment slash presentation. Yeah, and to experience stuff that you couldn't. I mean, I would love to see the Sistine Chapel, uh, and someday I will, and you're going to be my guide. But until then, uh, I think it's a pretty cool way to experience it.